in Green Haven of Meaford. So this house is very deceiving. It's the most unique home I've ever seen. It's like another uh, um, harbor. It's really big, but this is in Green Haven. This is only gonna go for 399 tops. I would say it's about 2,300 square feet, or maybe even bigger. It's got the two-car garage, but it needs a new, it needs that, you know, new roof, new siding, new windows, new HVAC all throughout. Um, there's two front doors. That is what I would make the front door, and I'll show you why. This place is like a maze. You can leave this door too. But this is kind of a family room here. This is the reason why I'm intrigued by this house. This room is really freaking cool. Look at this, you step down. It's got the high ceilings. I'd leave it exactly like this. I'd leave this chandelier. So you'd come in this front door here. And you got this room with this I'd even leave the wood. I wouldn't do much to this room at all. I'd just refinish the hardwood. I'd leave the spiral stairs that goes to a master suite. And um, at first I was thinking you'd make this just one big open room with the kitchen, dining room, living room. But there's so much other room over here. That's a full bath there. I'd make that a half bath, I think. But what I would do is you have steps coming up. I'd probably put a window here and put the kitchen overlooking this room. And take, this is very narrow. I would take these walls out so it's all open. And this would be the kitchen on this side, on the left side. And on the right side, you would have the dining room. And then you go straight back. And this is a family room here. Right here, and then I'd make three bedrooms here. So it's got the bathroom, but this everything is granite and ornate in here. There's a bathroom, bedroom, bedroom. That's the door we came in originally. Um, back here where the kitchen was, I'd make this another big ass bedroom back here. Seal that door up. So this could be another master bedroom back here. If they have little kids, but either way, it'd be three bedrooms over here and a full bath, a family room with a fireplace. Over here, kitchen, dining room, all open space. Step down into the master. Let me show you. It's a medium sized master, it's not huge. And these stairs are a little dangerous, but I would leave it. It adds all the character, just leave it the way it is. Um, master bedroom with the master bath, nice big master bath. This place is humongous. So you'd need a closet in this master bedroom because it's only one, one right there. So I'd add another one, but I don't even know if they would use this as the master. I mean, I could see somebody just thinking this is the coolest freaking house ever, because obviously you could buy new colonials that are nicer. So you get this whole basement thing, which I don't even want to go down there. I mean, you could even leave it unfinished because the house is so big. So again, a little kitchen, dining area. So going this way, this is where that kitchen was. You know, I said, make that a bedroom, you'll seal this off. I think what you do is you make a hallway go into this area and this could be just another great room that wall is not load bearing I would just take that out and make this one big open room or it could be another master bedroom I put some closets in here we'll call it a bedroom so then it would be five bedrooms and they're all three of them are gonna be big and it's just the yard the yard has like all this stuff has to be torn down. Um, but there's an in-ground pool there. This is underneath that great room. So this is kind of part of the basement, which I'll show you too. But it's just one of those homes you have to come and see. But 
I think it would be a fun project just because it's so big. And the sunken room is just really cool. And I'd leave it very similar to the way it is. So it's dark. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but I'd only finish off part of it just because I mean it is finished, but it had some mold and different things. So I don't know, there's a room here. Can't really see much of a utility room on either side. But then you come forward and it's like Maybe six and a half foot ceiling. I can't see much, but maybe you do fin there's a fireplace here. Maybe you do just finish this off, take these walls out, and just make it one big open room down here. Or just leave it unfinished because you have, you know, already five bedrooms and a humongous living room, uh, family room, big family room. You know, just so much to go by already. Then you got this. comes up to where that room where the pool table was this is I mean this is almost like a separate apartment here this is a hundred and fifty thousand dollar rehab though but I mean heck you could make this into an in-law suite under here but I don't know I think you're kind of maxed out at 399 in this neighborhood I mean I wish I knew the history of this home I, I think back because it's all wired for like all this crazy um speakers and audio and everything i think back in the day the person did have some money like 40 years ago 